This video is about how to a quick method of uh, setting a voice up on the table. Um, it's, uh, it uses tenons on the voice to locate the voice on the T-slot and then we're using a tool in the tool holder, standard tool side lock holder to bring in and just slide this vice up so you'll see and it's just hopefully this will inspire your imagination to to look at real quick setup times because you see people every day on machines and you think you're repeating things over and over again and if you've got these these things that you're doing every day always think is there a way that i can just automate this or just make it really really quick for myself you know um it, it really makes a massive difference and it just makes as a as a setter and an operator it just makes you feel so much better when you're not just messing around you know doing things wasting time when you really don't need to be so what i've got here is my normal machine voice sat on the table but what i've actually done to take this voice off is um i've made these tenons which fit into the vice you can actually buy these or you can make them but the fantastic thing about using tenons is that obviously once you place that vice on there it's dead square and it's always in the same position on the y-axis so effectively once i bolt that vice down now the only thing that isn't fixed is the x-axis so it can slide in the x direction um, with regards to the y it's in a standard known position so what i'm going to do now is in my program i'm going to send this tool to a known position and then i'm going to slide the voice i'm not moving the tool i'm moving the voice i'm sliding the voice up to this holder and it's going to bang against this holder nice and solid so i push it up to that holder and then once it reaches that holder all i'll do is just tighten my bolts on my vice and effectively that vice will then be in a standard position okay let's have a look at the um, cnc code for this now you'll see that i've sent it to I've called out a standard side lock holder. So the first time you make these components, you obviously you wouldn't know that known position for that voice. But what you would do is you could move that to a position and call it, say for example, G59XOYO, zero that up, and then obviously you'd have to save that for next time. And all this program does is it picks up a standard side lock um, which is the it's the body of that side lock that you're going to push the vice against. It sends it to G59XOYO and brings the Z down. And then all you would do is slide the vice along those tenons into that that point that you've decided, and then just bolt that vice up. And then every time that you do that, it's going to be exactly the same position. And don't forget, you once you've got this all set up, there's nothing to stop you doing the same thing to load the component. So you don't actually need a stop on the vice. You could use a standard tool or whatever. It can be a tool that you're actually using. Just use the body of the holder. Um, and you can actually slide a blank up to that as well. So you don't need a stop. So this is quite a quick way. I mean, the Y is always going to be the same. So um, in your program, you would have um, a G10, which would set these figures for you. You would have the first one, which uh, if you look at that G10L2P1, that sets G54. So that would be the datum for your part, um, which as I say, is always going to be the same. And then the second one, that G10L2P6, which sets G59, and that's going to be the standard position for the voice. So once they're in this program, um, it's always going to come out the same and it's always going to send the tool to the same place. So you, you can repeat this over and over again and your setup time is going to be virtually just the time to tighten these bolts up really. So this really does make a massive difference to, to setup time. 
So use your own imagination on this one. I mean, it's just it's just an idea to get you going, really. But the main thing is that if you think about advice, there's absolutely no excuse these days. I, you, I see people every day clocking up vices, and I think, why do you keep clocking that vice up every time? When once you make these tenons or buy these tenons and put them on your machine, you need never clock it up again. And if you use a method like this, you can have jobs where you're never setting datums again and your setup times will be really quick. And the other great thing is if this vice halfway through this job, you have to move this vice out of the way or something for another job, you can very, very quickly and easily get it back again. So, you know, use your imagination on this one.